Spanish. Oh, everybody here Spanish. So then, uh, you're going to do the simultaneously, right? Translating. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, so I'm going to chant opening prayer. Uh, today, I just do opening prayer here myself and uh, no sharing screen. That's okay, Zom Sangha. <laughs> Need a permission from them. <laughs> That's cool, Kenpo. It's good. I think they're okay. Tangue, <laughs> Thank you, everybody, coming to teaching. Thank you, coming to teaching, Zong Sangha. So today, I'll um, share with you teaching. It's called Four Noble Truths, right? It's topic Four Noble yes. Truths. Yeah. Four Noble Truths. Very simple, easy one, but also very difficult <laughs> too. So the Four Noble Truths is most important teaching for the Buddhist follower. If you know the Four Noble Truths, then you understand what means Buddha Dharma. Uh, so I'm sharing Four Noble Truths from this book. Uh, I wrote this book a long time ago. This is my first one. And uh, we have this Spanish translation. If someone can download from, uh, I think it's uh, the which the Amazon. I think Amazon have Spanish translation too. Both Kempo. Uh, which one? Amazon and Amazon Apple? and Apple. Apple. Mm -hmm. iBooks. Mm -hmm. Amazon and Apple both has a, a teaching. This. Uh, book is called this one has a chapter 17 chapters and the first one is a refuge second is for noble true third is for thoughts fourth is a shamatha number five is a karma chapter six is a love compassion the bodhicitta chapter seven is two truths Chapter eight is three vehicles. Chapter nine is Buddha nature. Chapter ten is white color practice of the deity. And chapter eleven is seven branches. Chapter twelve is three roots and three three roots and dharma protectors. Chapter thirteen is Vajrayana empowerment. Chapter 14 is two truths of the four schools. Chapter 15 is samsara and, samsara and Nirvana. Chapter 16 is six, six pardos. Chapter 7 is three kayas. So this all in this book has. Uh, it's, uh, this book is uh, created the first one. When I get in the Western country, so you know, when we share teaching in the monastery and go to Western country sharing teaching, you know, it's needed letters different where because uh, in monastery we can share like one topic, you can follow one month, it's okay. There is 
the same monks coming to listening teaching and we had just one topic uh, follow many months uh, some monthly goes king one topic uh, or two weeks three weeks so in western country people are very busy so no time to do that right we know and then today come to class tomorrow they are not there yeah so that's why one session have to finish the whole topic <laughs> yeah so then uh, if you come tomorrow or not you have already one session completely if you join one you know their teaching so then that's the reason i created this book most important chapters uh, covered already here uh, it's uh, also we printing lots this one all is gone actual rare book one rare books it's uh, it goes very good you know benefit lots and also with translation to chinese language public it translation to spanish so no translation to vietnamese language and translation to english i mean the english is the first one so i didn't wrote actually <laughs> what i did is i shared the teaching and then uh, somebody transcriptioned you know when uh, the and the dharma center every time there comes new people so i shared it, different topics we did it recorded and then after transcription and we collected all transcription together and then created this book so this is the first one uh, i didn't share long time this one uh, so not today going to share again it's actually i'm already new to this book <laughs> Oh, I didn't share this book long time teaching. We all the time different topics, you know, people like Mahamudra. So I share many times Mahamudra. People like Dzogchen teaching, I share Dzogchen teachings. I, I start with the Dzogchen Mahamudra years, so I forget this book. <laughs> and then to last week, somebody requests so for Noble Truth. So they are accepted this great time to share, you know. Uh, I didn't know I'd be here today, but naturally I'll be here today. And uh, thank you, Open and uh, Space. So we also have uh, many here students from China and other country everywhere. Uh, so on the Zoom, they're also with us together. So now I'm going to share from you this uh, book and uh, general aspect, okay? Just I also need some support from these words. Some some words, you know, I forget to how to say English. So that's why I need the support to use this book and they are spend more, you know, talk. Uh, here is the teachings for noble truth. So most I think you know for noble truth is when Buddha Shakyamuni enlightened. And then he shared this teachings first one. So when he shared for noble truth, the uh his story tradition talk about only five disciples there right so when he shared this four noble truth when he shared the four noble truth these five disciples <coughs> all already realized ahas actually they already has practiced uh, more you know before buddha sharing four noble truth so we we have to know the four noble truth is the most important teaching and also for noble truth is become Buddha is different than other religions. We have many similarities, other religion with the Buddhist together. But for noble truth is become totally make uh, another uh, revelation, right? Something like revelation is, I don't know, correct? Yes. Yeah, revelation become religion. And uh, before Buddha, Shakyamuni, we know India has many religions. They all believe creator gods. And there has also, uh, you know, believe creator gods, same time they're, they're who follow the religions, they're high caste systems. Like Burmans, right? Burmas, you know, right? Burmas, 
we talk about in India, they have different levels, caste systems, uh, systems of different levels, right? Okay. So this religion followers is the Burmese means highest one. And then second is a king lineage. So then goes like regular and some too low classes that even some cannot get any names because too low. So that's why Buddha is a revolutionary for that another reason. He, Buddha see all uh, human beings are same. Because when we was born, they don't say anything, especially you are higher caste, you are low caste, right? It's uh, uh, when we born all has the same, you know, everybody want happiness and no one want suffering. So when Siddhartha has big challenge with uh, that, uh, you know, with other religions. So that's the reason he have to give up the, you know, kingdom and he wanted to find the truth and he meditate when he meditated the buddha had five disciples when he shared this for noble truth that these five disciples with him together too uh, meditating together uh, they also followed the buddha Shakyamuni because there uh, one of the five uh, person is uh, actually teacher for siddhartha when he was a young boy, he knows like the Siddhartha is special. And the Siddhartha give up, you know, kingdom, he joined the spiritual path. So then he also want to follow the Siddhartha. He recalls the Siddhartha when you found the truth. Please help me. So Siddhartha also promised, and then five comes, the, the five person comes together, and with the Siddhartha, they meditate together. Uh, Siddhartha uh, then you know six years meditate he recognized that you know you're going to find the true nature cannot be two extremes so you're going to realize must be balanced cannot be can to sacrifice the life and uh, another we call too much uh, sacrifice or extreme hardship, difficulty way. Another like too much uh, samsara desire. So Siddhartha recognized cannot be bought. And then he six years meditate uh, after he drank the water, right? And somebody offered the food, he eat that. And due to that other five of them uh, against the Siddhartha, they left. So Buddha kept uh, Siddhartha kept the promise, you know, he said, I, when I found the truth, I come look for you guys. So now you can wanted to live from uh, me, you can live. But when I found the truth, so I can look for you, then Siddhartha enlightened. He looked where they are. They are in the Varanasi, Deer Park. So then Siddhartha enlightened in Bodhigaya, so he walked all the way to uh, <coughs> Varanasi and he shared this four noble truth. So when Siddhartha come to Varanasi, this uh, five dis, uh, Korna Dezambu, we call Korna Dezambu, Korna Dezambu is like five disabled names. Uh, so there see the Siddhartha coming, actually already enlightened the Buddha. Then they promise each other, they're not going to respect to Siddhartha or Buddha. They're not going to get up when he comes close to them. But then Siddhartha comes close to them, they don't have a choice. Then naturally they get up and did the prostration to the Buddha and then uh, offering the seat and the recourse of the teaching. So Buddha shared this Four Noble Truth for them. Uh, Four Noble Truth is based on cause and effect. So that's why, you know, before the Buddha Shakyamuni, there's many religions, they all talk about the creator of God. Yeah. And uh, so when she, Buddha Shakyamuni shared this for, uh, cause and effect, and then 
you know, become different than these other religions because uh, we are nobody create us. Yeah, we create ourselves. So through our body, speech, mind, and we create our own karma. So that's the reason, you know, uh, uh, through uh, body, speech, mind, create our uh, create a karma. So that's why we we are, uh, you know, kept going in or uh, existing in samsara. So we create our own karma. No, we have opportunity or ability to uh, purify our own karma because we create our own karma that's why we can purify our own karma uh, so when she this is siddhartha i mean buddha shakyamuni become enlightened for noble truth so buddha's teaching is uh, for uh, become you know democracy system it's uh, you know buddha Dharma, Sangha. No one has a power, one, you know, like have to come three of together. Right? So Buddha, Dharma, Sangha means, and uh, we need a Buddha, we need a Dharma, we need a Sangha. So have to come together to, if going to enlightened. And if this three comes together, then we have, a, a, you know, opportunity, ability to purify our negative karma, we can reach to the enlightenment. Uh, so, Four Noble Truth is uh, then teaching is truly we recognize Buddha Dharma Sangha and uh, different the other religions. So here what I wrote here, the Four Noble Truths are the central pillars of the Buddha's teachings. In fact, all of the Dharma is in, composed by the Four Noble Truths. Buddha shares so many teachings. These all teachings actually can subsumed to in this Four Noble Truth. So Four Noble Truth can be uh, the Telavadin tradition. Four Noble Truth we can share uh, same as like Mahayana tradition. Uh, Four Noble Truth can be followed by Vajrayana tradition. So Four Noble Truth is sometimes people think is Telavadin teaching because basic teaching, you know, that's also misunderstand. Uh, the most important, you know, like Telova, Den, Varjayana, Mahayana, this Tiriyana, the Buddhist talk about. This Tiriyana is uh, uh, up to our individual, you know, capacity. Uh, for my understanding, I change every single day. Sometimes I'll be, uh, become Telova, Den. Some hours I'm telling you know, I thinking about my and I wanted to liberate. I'm doing something benefit myself. So that moment I'm telling the interpretation. Sometimes there is a compassion for others. So that moment I fear is a Mahayana practitioner, yeah. And sometimes we visualize the Yadam deities and uh, bring all these deities in the mind, you know, change this uh, impure perception. Uh, in pure perceptions, transform to the pure perceptions, create, you know, pure lane where we are, the place. So that moment feels like I'm Vajrayana practitioner, right? And uh, if we're not doing anything, this three of that, then ordinary people, ordinary being. Mm -hmm. So within 24 hours, we are changing, you know. Mm -hmm. So we cannot point for someone say, you are Telavade, I'm Mahayana or I'm Vajrayana. So, you know, we have to look to ourselves. I'm Telavadin tradition follow or I'm Mahayana Vajrayana. So every actually moment we changing, you know. Uh, sometimes like you practice even Yadam Deity, Sadhana, Vajrayana tradition practice, you know, teachings you using and practice. Could be that moment you can be Telavadin tradition because your mind don't have enough love and the compassion, maybe not really create spaces like, you know, mandala, Yadam Deity is a mandala, and you recognize I'm suffering, I want to become happy, and ask this Yadam Deity, please help me, you know, protect me, I want to liberate. So that is called Telavadin. 
and we can be use the high level teachings, but person individually can be tell about introduction. And sometimes uh, we can use just uh, basic teachings, practice, but can be person is a warjayana practitioner, you know. So the the main point is not the dharma. The have to think about the person ability, you know our intention, ability, which level we are. Uh, so we are on the path. We are not same every day, same, same, uh, same level, because always upside down, you know. Yeah, sometimes you feel really good. You think I'm good practitioner. Sometimes, sometimes you feel I'm terrible practitioner. <laughs> sometimes you think I'm okay, you know. Yeah, I'm not too bad. So you have that fear all the time change. And uh, so samsara is also all the time within us, ourselves, you know, when you have strong anger, so that moment we are hell and beings. And we, when we have strong desire, never satisfy, and so strong grasping arising within our mind, so that moment we are hungry ghost. And uh, we know knowing cause and effect, you know, ignorance due to ignorance. No knowing what is right, what is wrong, create a negative karma. At that moment, we are animal, um, same animal. And sometimes we have a strong attachment. So that time is called human being. Then when we have a strong jealousy arise our mind, you know, jealousy, you cannot really control yourself, right? And at that moment, we are jealousy gods. Then pride, ego arising in our mind. That moment we are God's realm beings. So that's why uh, practice all these teachings, we cannot project an ultra level. All, always we have to look to ourselves. And we can think about the six realms, or oh, these beings are hell realm, these beings, hungry gods, animals, human beings. But actually, we have to look to ourselves. When we have these emotions, we are part of them. So when you have love and compassion within your heart, you are naturally uh, Bodhisattva. <coughs> yeah, Bodhisattva means who has love and compassion. That's called Bodhisattva. So we are on the path. We are not always Bodhisattva. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we have love and compassion arise. And that moment we can call um, relatively Bodhisattva, right? We are relatively Bodhisattva. Uh, sometimes you have, uh, you know, when you use this uh, Mahamudra teaching, meditate, your mind is in, really into natural states, no door states. And that moment, uh, we can say we are enlightened person. You know, enlightenment also moments, moments. So moments, we are realizing, moment, we are samsaric being. Moment we are Bodhisattva, moment we are ordinary being, right? So that's all the time change. Uh, so the point is we have to investigate ourselves. Uh, what is going on, you know, checking, search ourselves. Uh, we can be all these different kind of beings too, realms, you know, form body can be human beings, form body, but suffering, you know, and uh, the experience, experience exactly the same as other realms. Can be animal realms, can be human being, can be, you know, other realms too. So that's what we have to know. Then here is the Four Noble Truths are four statements the Buddha made in the first teaching. He gave after attaining enlightenment. Uh, when he reached enlightenment, he gave these teachings. Uh, so the truth of the suffering, the first one is the truth of suffering is the samsara is unsatisfactory. Uh, so that's the first one, truth of suffering. Second is called the truth of origination of suffering. Is that the suffering of samsara has a cause. The third is the truth of cessation is that liberation from the suffering of samsara is a path possible. 
And then the truth of the path, the fourth one is truth of path, is the means to attaining liberation. Uh, that's the four noble truth. So which one is the first? I'm just uh, taking your test together and sharing teaching. <laughs> which one is the first? Just say it, right? Easy. Uh, suffering, see, oh, you are all good practitioners. Here. Yeah. See, we have very good Dharma practitioners here, Zom Sangha. <laughs> so, Zom Sangha also study long time, actually. They are already very good, high level study already, practitioner too. Uh, so, the, here, the truth of suffering, why Buddha share first? Truth of suffering. There also has a reason to share, you know, truth of suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Nobody likes suffering. Can you say again? Nobody likes suffering. Oh, nobody likes the suffering. Yeah. That's also reason one. Thank you. So, but no one likes the suffering. We have to recognize the suffering, right? Uh, so, I just mentioned about when Siddhartha, you know, no enlightened. That time he recognized his love to, you know, every single being, I mean, everybody, he see everyone suffering. Then he wanted to help, but he don't know, you know, how to help. He don't know why he's suffering. Everybody want happiness. But everybody chasing happiness create causes of suffering. So his thing is like, you know, God cannot do that for every single being. And that's why he wanted to find the truth and why the suffering come from. He, he discovered this, when he enlightened, discover, you know, truth, means he discovered suffering, where it come from. So we, we have to give up suffering. And uh, then, the, you know, he had to share the cause. So first here is he shared the result first, result and the cause. Usually we talk about the cause, the result. So here in this Four Noble Truth is the uh, other way, result first and then cause. So why he shared the result first? Uh, reason is, you know, uh, we have to recognize we are suffering. Otherwise, not going to uh, look the cause. Uh, so that's why he shared the suffering first. Uh, so the suffering, you know, is uh, for every single being's suffering. Uh, no one free from suffering. Siddhartha recognized that. And uh, so when he enlightened also the king, his, you know, family, everyone requests to him to stay in the kingdom. So Siddhartha told them, I have big responsible, you know, not only small kingdom. I have big response for every single being. And I cannot belong to small uh, group, like one kingdom. Uh, you know, I have to help every single being. So that's why the reason is sharing these teachings, you know, helping us. And uh, then he shared this suffering because we have to recognize our suffering. Uh, we wanted to give up suffering. We, we have to, that's very strongly we have to understand first. Uh, that's why here it says, uh, so our conscious explanation follows Maitreya's teaching on the Four Noble Truths and beings by observing that, true of that, the truths dis describe causes and the other two describe effects. So one, two is effect, two is a cause, for noble true means. <coughs> so we, we are in samsara. So result is a suffering, causes origination of suffering. And then nirvana, cause is a path, result is a cessation. But when we meditate, when we share teaching, cause goes, I mean, the result goes first. Uh, so here, uh, 
the Four Noble Truths are based on the law of karma, cause and effect. See, the law of cause and effect because have a cause is uh, origination of suffering, then result is a suffering. So that's cause and effect. And then cause is a part, result is a cessation. So that's also cause and uh, cause and effect. In belief, all sentient beings want to happiness in, and in order to attain the happiness, they must create the causes of happiness. We want to happiness, we have to create the causes of happiness. Likewise, in order to avoid unhappiness, they don't want, they have to stop creating the cause of suffering. So we want happiness, but we don't know how to stop the causes of suffering. We want happiness, we don't want the suffering. Uh, if we don't create a cause, then no possible have happiness. Uh, we don't stop the causes of suffering. We, even if we don't want the suffering, then we cannot stop the suffering. So that's the reason we have to f uh, stop the cause. Uh, stop the causes of suffering, we have to create a causes of happiness. We cannot stop both, yeah. I, did this, I say mistake, yeah. So we cannot stop causes of suffering, causes of happiness, both. So we stop only causes of suffering. We create causes of happiness. Liberation and enlightenment are result that arise from cause. So just as our experience of samsara, whether happiness or suffering, arise from causes in the context of karma cause and effect. Uh, so it's, it's followed by karma cause and effect for noble truth. Uh, karma cause and effect, you know, many people don't believe karma cause and effect because they think, uh, you know, I don't see. Uh, the some say, I don't see the past life, I don't see the future life, I don't believe cause and effect. Uh, so some, that's another reason people don't believe. But that is also incorrect idea, mis misunderstand. Do you think so or no? So if you don't see that, then if you don't accept, we cannot see many things are inside the body. So then we can reject that or no? Because our inside organs, we cannot, I cannot see that, right? <coughs> so we have that. Many, many uh, other religions also, and also this time, many people say, I don't follow the cause and effect because, I mean the karma, I don't believe karma because I don't see. Uh, that is incorrect. We don't see tomorrow. We don't see yesterday too. We don't see yesterday, but we have experience yesterday. So we have last life, our previous life, same as yesterday. And we know we, we have today, we have tomorrow. So today is the same as in this life. Tomorrow is the same as future life. And we have a future life. If we don't see. I, tomorrow, but we, we know so we have tomorrow, right? Do you think so? Yeah, so we, we was born to enter, no, we, we, every day we have today, yesterday, tomorrow. <laughs> so, so that's cyclic existence, never end. We have to, all the time kept going that. Uh, then, uh, some people, you know, so some say like, okay, I don't see cause and effect. No, if no, see, no seeing, uh, then that means we cannot uh, deny it. Because sometimes no seeing has more power than seeing forms. Mm -hmm. So this light bulb we can see, but electric still we cannot see. Electric 
She has a really powerful, right? If you touch him. But we do, I cannot see electricity. We can see only light bulbs. Without the light bulb, you cannot see electricity. And uh, I think same, you know, like uh, some levels we don't have understanding causing the effect. We don't, don't know like subtle level energy causing the effect. Uh, also, we create this, this time due to the technology. Uh, very easy, you know, causing the effect, understand. We have eye clothes, right? Do you have eye clothes? Do you use the apple or no? Yeah. Okay, so, so then we have eye clothes, yeah? yeah? Do you see what you have in the eye clothes right now? Hmm? Always in the clothes. Yeah, always in the clothes, right? <laughs> we cannot see right now because we have, we know we have eye clothes. <laughs> so, it's karma is the same as eye clothes. We create like many, many love times, eye clothes. Our uh, GB is like, uh, how to say, the limited GB we have, eye clothes. Yeah. And uh, so we created so much karma, limited GB we have already. Uh, unlimited, yeah, unlimited. Unlimited uh, GB, gigabytes. gigabytes, thank you, gigabytes we have. <laughs> Unlimited gigabytes eye clothes we have. Okay. So, the when uh, philosophy, Buddha share the teaching, exactly the same, what talk about karma. But then many, that time, people don't understand. So now we understand because due to technology. And uh, karma means exactly the same as eye clothes. Uh, so we create a big mistake, you know, I think, uh, what you said, uh, uh, break the many roles already there. The, the, we already have uh, in the eye clothes. If, if they show up, we have to go to animal realms. If they show up, we have to go to other realms too. Suffering realms, no choice. But luckily, this uh, eye clothes, negative one, didn't show up. Do you understand? We, our eye clothes has positive and negative both. Uh, the negative one, if it shows up, we can go to the lower realms easily. Uh, when we are in the pardo, luckily, I think, the shows up positive eye clothes for us. That's why we take, you know, birth in human beings. Do you understand? Yeah, so uh, if that time shows up animal eye clothes, we're going to take birth to animal realms. If that time shows up, you know, hungry ghost uh, eye clothes, we have to go to hungry ghost. If that time shows up, uh, this uh, harem, eye clothes, we have to go to harems. But luckily, they didn't show up this other lower, this suffering realms, show up the human beings eye clothes. So we take human beings birth. That's a call we are lucky. You know, we have to think about uh, our precious human body, you know. We have to cultivate that thing. And as uh, long as you cultivate a precious human body, uh, you always appreciate yourself. Uh, you can create a really good, uh, you know, uh, feeling ourselves like appreciating gra gratitude, right? Gratitude, we create ourselves and uh, bring the positive feeling our mind. Uh, so, luckily, we didn't show up this negative eye clothes. And that's why still we, our life is everybody I see here and all who come to the zone, you know, have good, good uh, eye clothes show up until right now. So that's why we are still alive. You know, we, we are breathing, right? We, are, we have a connect with the Dharma and we, you have opportunity to listen to teaching. I have opportunity to share with you. So this all is like until now, uh, we have these good conditions always show up the, you know, good eye clothes, 
positive eye clothes. And uh, sometimes, you know, even we, we are human beings' body, but eye clothes has, even in the human beings' body, many obstacles can be show up. If some obstacles show up, our life has become miserable happening. If so far, you know, show up for us, I think positive ones. So, of course, of course like life has, you know, some small problems that we have to accept. That's also actually good to, you know, learn, we get more experience ourselves. Uh, we did, that didn't show up strong obstacle in this life. If strong big obstacle era, you know, I close shows up us, we created, you know, this big obstacle karma, if it shows up and our life can be go miserable suffering too, even human beings body. We know so many people suffering, right? is uh, going on something like life is really suffering you can uh, you can affect anything like in this life something happening like that kind of problems so now we have this uh, uh positive eye close and negative eye close both so far luckily more show up for us is positive eye close uh, negative eye close there but before show up we have to distort we have to delete yeah so all can be we can delete this uh negative eye clothes then use you know the practice of dharma and we we can use uh, practice of varjasava it's very powerful and uh, varjasava practice is same as washing machine you know is your dirty cloth is like clean up very easy uh, without a hardship because you using supports you know, you use your hand, clean up your, your uh, you know, wash your clothes. It's take time, it's very hard, right? And also, luckily, Ibiza is weather is hard, good, but some countries weather is really cold. And use cold water, uh, then wash your clothes. It's not easy, very hard. You can be frozen. So you think, okay, we can use the, the hot water. That means you're using some support. So not you, you, you wash yourself without the support, right? And you create a hot water, and that means like you using some support, not what just our practice, but some, you know, you using some you, uh, um, practice meditation and uh, confessing, you know, or maybe doing some good things, purifying, you know, karma. Same, you know, like you use some uh, support, and then when we wash the clothes, we use hot water. Is better you cannot you know, get uh, frozen your hand, and then you use a soap. Then more better, you know. This helps you become wash wash your clothes. Even you using your hand, but then you use washing machine is more powerful your clothes. So that is the same. It's like you, know, you practice varjasava. It's confession practice. And we can uh, we can wash, you know, all this negative karma put in the washing machine. Yeah. So before it shows up that that, that uh, uh, negative eye clothes, you can wash. Because uh, we can do that. The reason is we create this our eye clothes. We have ability to also delete and uh, remove that uh, negative eye clothes too. Uh, so that is a good thing too, right? Good news. We can we can wash away our negative eye clothes. Yeah, if we cannot do that, then we don't have a choice. We we just uh, uh, you know going to say we're going to be suffering. No choice. But uh, good thing, you know, we have a choice because long as we purify our own negative karma, we're not going to suffer in future life. So this life, we have a good opportunity and connect with the Dharma. Yeah. And very hard to connect to the Dharma. That's what we understand, right? And how many people in this world, in the world. So a billion human beings, something like that, numbers. But how many really think about cause and effect. 
and who who many people really think about the future life, and how many people really something you know benefit future life practice. It's very few. No, no many people have that connections. So we are like part of like maybe three percent or two percent. The you know only people connection to thinking about the future life. The ninety five percent or ninety six seven percent no connections. Do you think so or no? Some yeah. Ah. Uh, Some connection must be there. Even if people don't realize. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're thinking about the future life, someone. Mm. You know, like something get benefit future life. I want to purify my negative karma. Mm. Then how many people think that? 3% or no? 3% yeah. also lots. <laughs> no? Okay, so then we are part, belong to, right? No, part of 3%. So that's the thing about it. That's also we, we have to appreciate ourselves. Then who don't have that uh, connection and uh, condition, we have to generate a love of compassion for them. We cannot be ego or pride, right? Oh, I'm really good. I get a precious human body. At the same time, I have a connect with the Dharma and I'm great. So others don't have. So then that is also, you know, become causes of pride, ego, right? And uh, that's then that is become medicine is poison again. So we don't want to medicine is change to poison, right? And uh, we use medicine as medicine and uh, have to recover our illness. So long, you know, long as you think, I have this all this good condition, connection, many people don't have that you recognize then what we have to do is we have to create a compassion, love for others, not create a pride. So create a pride is become, then it's a already a wrong, you know, it's, it's uh, how to say that we, we get mistake practice, misunderstand or wrong way to go. So practice uh, not create ego, the practice of dharma no create jealousy and uh, this you know negative karma dharma means must be entered out to the our afflictive emotions dharma practice we cannot create our own afflictive emotions yeah so that's our job most important we have to think you know always investigate ourselves i'm practicing dharma i cannot create Dharma, you know, practice the Dharma, I cannot use Dharma, create my afflictive emotions. So as long as we create afflictive emotion, practice the Dharma, then that is not called the Dharma. Dharma means must be introduced to our afflictive emotions. And then the, the point is, you know, when uh, we recognize we have these good conditions, some others don't have, so we have to create love, compassion for others. And then arise love, compassion, our heart. So we are right path. So it's the we are in the thing ourselves. Dhar Dharma is born to in our heart or not is depending. We have love, compassion for others or not. So long as love, compassion arising for others, then even you don't put any labels. I am Tibetan Buddhist follower, I'm Mahayana, Sri Lanka, or I'm Buddhist, I'm Christian, doesn't matter, I think. The point is as long as, you know, important is as long as love, compassion arise for others. On the path. So love, compassion, and our, so many dirty negative karma is killing thing again. Uh, so that's we when we do do the practice, we you know use 
create all this uh, enlightening positive quality we have to create ourselves. Uh, then here says liberation and enlightenment are results so that arise from cause, just as all experiences of samsara, whether happiness or suffering, arising from the causes. In the context of karma cause and effect, the true <coughs> truth of suffering describes the result. And the second truth, the origination of suffering, describes the cause of that result. These cause of suffering are what we must abandon because they are origin of all samsaric suffering. The other truth, the truth of cessation and the truth of a path are truths are about that we wish to attain or accomplish. Uh, so today uh, is here is another like sharing many things. So I'm going to go directly to first one. Uh, first one is uh, um, so the and the whole truth created the cause of suffering. Okay, when someone for first I must understand the truth of suffering. Okay, so here. Uh, it is important to understand these four truths where first we must understand the truth of suffering. Uh, Buddha said first like we have to recognize truth of suffering. Uh, we have to understand that we are suffering. We have to recognize the suffering and we have to recognize that suffering is the fundamental nature of samsara. So long as you know, take birth in samsara, and then all these samsaric beings naturally suffering. So here also you cannot misunderstand. Uh, we have temporary happiness in within samsara, but no one has absolute permanent happiness. Do you accept that or no? Okay, so I have to check. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you all understand, yeah. We, uh, we don't want to suffering, so we don't want the suffering, right? No. Anyone want the suffering? No, no right? See, that's, that's good news too. <laughs> and then that means you we really uh, looking to the, the solution, something for, you know, solve the problem, suffering. And to get rid of suffering, uh, first we have to understand this nature all of suffering through uh, or to the six realms of samsara can be classified as one of three general types of suffering. Okay, so samsara is a suffering we're talking about. Then generally in the within samsara talk about three different sufferings. Do you know that? Three different sufferings. Okay, so I'm going to share with you. I think you some know, some don't know, I recognize that here. Uh, so here's what it says. Uh, three type of suffering, suffering of suffering. Do you know what means the suffering of suffering? Yes. Uh, then another called the suffering of change. Then and, and another called the third one is a pervasive suffering of compound of phenomena. So these three different levels of suffering. Suffering has three different levels. First one is called suffering of suffering, I think. Suffering of change, suffering of suffer, suffering, yeah, suffering of suffering. Uh, suffering of suffering, do you have any idea, I think? What means the suffering of suffering? You have? Can you say? No, I mean, English is not possible. <laughs> English is not possible. 
Cuando tenemos un, por ejemplo, un dolor, pues la mente está con mucho dolor. El sufrimiento aumenta. Así, del simple. So, somebody said pain. When there is pain, I mean, the mind uh, is creating more suffering than the real pain. Uh, suffering or suffering. Hmm. Okay, great. So, yeah, so suffering of suffering. We have to think about what means the suffering of suffering. Extra suffering, right? <laughs> 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 extra suffering. Do we have extra suffering? <laughs> we have, right? Okay. So much attached to the body, right? Yeah. So <laughs> suffering of suffering is like here is also another says like uh you know suffering or what it says like uh pervasive suffering of compound of phenomena. Pervasive of suffering, right? Yes. So that that's a Pervasive of suffering. This uh, sometimes I cannot make really good pronunciation. Very hard to read songs, okay? So you have to understand. Uh, pervasive of suffering is long as we have take birth in samsara. Naturally, we have pervasive of suffering because this body is each moment changing. You know, you cannot keep same all the time, right? Minds all the time changing, right? Follow the thoughts. So even right now, we are not suffering of suffering, but we have a pervasive of suffering right now. The reason is because we cannot stop. You know, this moment happiness, we cannot hold that. It, it's natural of samsara. So long as you have already take birth in samsara, long as you have this body, and then each moment changing. Even in the Ibiza has parties, these people also have a pervasive suffering. Even they looks like joy, happy, right? And then they drink too much. So headache, that's called suffering of suffering. Because the, you have pervasive of suffering, then you get the suffering, right? Headache or vomit, or you know, you go to a party and you don't dive correctly, you know, accident, something, that's all called suffering of suffering. So that pervasive of suffering is like, when we was born to enter, die, not enter, die, it will enter, liberate, keep that suffering all the time. Uh, it's called suffering, but uh, very subtle level. We don't fear that. We don't understand. We don't recognize. So that's why the one example they say. Uh, first, I explain pervasive of suffering because we have to know that this suffering. Then you know, like suffering of suffering. Pervasive of suffering is like I take out the eyelash, put my hand in the palm of my hand, uh, no pain, no fears, anything. If I take out my hair from my uh, head and put my in the palm of the hand, it's no any fears, no feeling. So that here is stuck in the, my eye. It's really painful. Yeah, so what is that example is, for right now, our hair is in the palm of my, our hand. We don't fear that suffering. Who recognizes that suffering? Is high realizers, same as like eye, the hair is stuck in the eye. So the high realizers see all this samsara beings are suffering. But the moments, short temporary moment, enjoy, they don't recognize. Yeah. So, example, like many bugs enjoy outside, they don't recognize the thunderstorms coming. 
when thunderstorm come, the thunderstorm wash away, but they don't feel that they don't, they don't recognize. Maybe the bugs running in the ground, they create a family and enjoy the moment, right? We don't know, but looks like they're doing that, right? Yeah, but they are they are pervasive suffering. The moment they're okay, but then like you know, the bad weather is coming. They don't they don't aware about that, no recognize. And the same, you know, like uh, long as we have uh, uh, take birth in samsara, just you know we're going to get suffering sooner or later. Like long as you have body, and this body is a compound of phenomena comes together as it goes separate anyway. So long as we have to burn the house, right? The don't know how long stay, but it's it's compound of phenomena. One day is like go to part of particles, like go dissolve to the again, like falling to part of particles. So uh, that's a, you know, uh, anyway, sooner or later going to happen. No, do you understand or no? Okay, so that's, that's it. Previous was suffering, then plus suffering is, okay, your headache. That's also called suffering over suffering. And then you get accident, something, suffering over suffering. And then you will lose our families, suffering over suffering. We lose relatives, suffering over suffering. And then we, people lose a job, so that's also suffering over suffering. Then what happens, like many sufferings, right? Endless. <laughs> Everyone can come 10, 20 is easy, right? Different kind of sufferings. So that's all called suffering of suffering. Uh, then another is called change of suffering. Change of suffering. Do you know what it means a change of suffering? Change of suffering is a, uh, you know, you buy a new car, maybe you're extremely happy, yeah, you satisfy, but then you uh, use the car and uh, maybe someone stolen your car, that's also suffering of change because your happiness has changed to suffering. And also that is called suffering of suffering too. Uh, so then maybe the car is a breakdown or you have to pay so much uh, bear every month like mom you know you you can afford and you like really your own car you don't want to let go and then that's also suffering of i mean the change of suffering because you first the car bring you temporary joy happy satisfied but then you know every month you have to pay for bear or Right, bear or how to say? Bear. Yeah, bear, like, you know, the, then it's, you can't afford and you don't want to lose, right? And you have to pay insurance, you have to pay all this maintaining many things. It's become, if, uh, it's called suffering uh, of changed. Uh, it's happy, it's changed to suffering. Then uh, many people come to Ibiza here or Europeans, right? Mostly, generally, I think so. All, all over the world, I think. All over the world, the people come here, right? And then when they come here, it's, it's happy, but then they get something, you know, say, or on the way, difficulty, get problem, whatever, something in the, the journey gets problem, that is called suffering of change. <coughs> Happiness is a change to suffering. Then you, you know, family, right? The starting family and then divorce again. So that's also suffering of change. First, like very happy, joy, you know, love each other, right? Then slowly change and hatred each other. So that's called <laughs> suffering of change. So many things are suffering of change. We have that all the, you know, within in samsara for us. Right, we have a yes or no? Even we cannot say we have a right, no, but, and uh, we, we have been through that too. You know, like when 
we was born to enter know if you think about your life some some days we have suffering of suffering some days we have suffering of change the pervasive of suffering is always with us so this three sufferings like uh, in the just generally many types of suffering bring to all this suffering is subsumed to this three part i think so that's why buddha said these three different level sufferings yeah then we can talk about it. each one is like many many endless like you know different sufferings but this all bring to three categories suffering of change suffering of suffering suffering of pervasive of suffering so there's three different levels uh, here so what we says here in the book uh, the moment we are born in samsara we have the basic of suffering our everybody is set it is safe, the basis for suffering. And once we take a physical form, we automatically have suffering. Because our body, we experience suffering from illness and all sorts of physical problems, such eye problems, headaches, and the source of all metabolic imbalance that makes us air, imbalance. That is all uh, considered the suffering of suffering because our body, which is the basis of suffering, experience this form manifestation of suffering. The suffering of suffering is the observe us our grow, growth suffering experiences by the basis of suffering the body we experience suffering of change when a situation we enjoy change into something else over time it change from happiness to suffering for instance when we first get a so new car here I mentioned about this we really love it it give us pleasure and make us feel good. So I like the car, that's why I use the car mm -hmm. example is. So you, which one you really like, you can use that as example. So when we get, we're happy, but anyway, it's impermanent, right? We're going to lost. Uh, so then that when we lost, we're suffering, uh, unpleasant or unhappy. That's called suffering of change. For instance, uh, then, but then uh, uh, over time it gets old, it gets scratches, talking about the car, and it start, start breaking down and having problems. Then we have to take it to the sh shop again and again, spending lots of money on it. Know the car that once brought us so much happiness has become a source of frustration, ag aggravation, aggravation, I think, and suffering. That suffering of change, this type of suffering occurs constantly and not just in relation to material objects relationships not just in relation to material object not only auto level material object but our just relationship to relationships can go so in the beginning we are attracted to someone whose qualities we find delightful but later we start to notice less attractive qualities and eventually, even those relationships that were a source of great joy can become a source of suffering. That is also the suffering of change. Suffering changes so many, you know, we all the time happen, right? Especially in this time, so much changing all the time. 
So uh, that's why suffering changes more than before than right now, I think. Because a long time ago, I think ancient time, ancient days, olden days, I say, uh, you stay in the one villages, you don't that much traveling. You do you see that just every day same kind of people, right? And villages, small community, small community, and uh, you use uh, every day almost the same object. Uh, what you own? So this time, uh, you know, nowadays is the technologies, and we uh, we traveling so much, right? Countries. And we, we own lots and we buy lots of different kind. We have so many desire objects and we, every single day we see so many different things. And then we, we attract with these objects, right? We buy or we uh, do something and but then lose. Uh, so suffering changes are things more before than right now. Do you think so? I think so. Yeah. You think so? Okay, then good. <laughs> oh, you think so? Tell me one, one example, your experience. Well, uh, I can actually it can be positive too. Mm. Because, uh, one thing is too many, too many, too many opportunities, right? Mm. Too, many, too many distractions, uh, kind of like satisfying a lot of like. Uh, pleasures of the mind and the body you know, before it was yeah, much less, right? The patient yes. was the nature, is more village. You know, but on the other hand, the mind was very habituated to always same environment and same people. So actually many things can turn into opportunity to change a lot, which can help you to develop more impermanence. Mm. Uh, because there is more nature of change and you can appreciate that too. Yes. If you change it to good ways, then great, right? So, yeah, this teaching right now, with knowing this, you know, change of suffering, mm -hmm. and then that helps this all, I think, desire objects, uh, what we own, and uh, we can use this object, but uh, not create causes of suffering. Mm -hmm. Use this object like positive way, you know, learn something, right? Benefit for ourselves and others. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why like the in the teaching, generally talk about a negative way. Because teaching means like pointing the, our arrow, mm -hmm. right? Arrow or like wrong ones, or, like what we have. Mm -hmm. the, the weakness is the teaching have to pointing us that if we don't recognize then we cannot change so if you talk all the time positive good way then okay i'm good so you know you get a pride and you're not going to uh, get rid of our uh, causes of suffering so we don't get rid of our causes of suffering then even we have suffering but sometimes we don't recognize so that's the reason teaching is called the pit instruction means directly pointing to <laughs> you know is our problems if that teaching uh, uh, pointing our own problem we really recognize then the teaching really benefits they have sometimes the some people went to the teaching and then teacher sharing the dharma teaching of course all the time sharing dharma teaching why are you talking about me all the time, like my problems, you know? <laughs> Someone said, many people said that, you know? <laughs> yeah. So if someone, that means really no, uh, you pay attention to teaching. Then that, that is good, you know, like uh, teaching, when you hear, you have problem and then you the recognize right so teaching like really digging your our problems and uh, then we have ability possible to change so you know same as massage people do pushing your body right 
and you the very north where is the painful like then recognize. Otherwise, you give a very soft massage. Yeah, you don't recognize where you have really massage is tight, painful place. If they have to push you strong, it's very hard. Then then you recognize right, and uh, then you can release that uh, suffering point or painful pain painful place. You can release. Uh, otherwise, you not possible to release, right? Do you understand? Yeah, what I'm talking. Okay, same. You know, teaching. Uh, some another level people doesn't want to hear impermanent sufferings. So some people okay to hear, like to listen to impermanent too. So which kind of type you are? You like you okay to hear the sufferings, or you like to all the time positive with good things. <laughs> Or you, yeah, see if, so if you wanted to have all the time positive good things, right? And then that means we don't want to change. So if we want to change and then we have to hear this uh, negative suffering and permanent part. So my understanding is like we hear this suffering it really helps, you know, then uh, we understanding we, you know, we are in the samsara, we can accept our suffering. So long as you accept your suffering, and then you can use your suffering, uh, can create causes of happiness too. So that is a dependent individual level. Some people accept and suff suffering, their minds more relaxed. Even suffering, but not really sad. You can accept, you know, you can accept. Uh, some people have ability accepting suffering and use the suffering, create a causes of happiness. <coughs> so that means like, you know, each single day, each single day, uh, we can get something unpleasant feelings. So when unpleasant feeling come to your mind, we can say that is a suffering. Okay. So then you can use that unpleasant feeling, meditate, practice. So you can dissolve your unpleasant feeling unhappy said in this feeling you can dissolve so that that means you suffering is taking to the path the suffering really help us you know each unpleasant unhappy said in this feeling when it arise long as you have mind for and you use some practice yeah your practice run over that said in this feeling you create joyful feeling yourself, happy feeling arise after practice. Then where where is this happy come from? It's causes of your sadness feeling. And sadness feeling you recognize, you practice and you become you feel happy and joy. So that means like you take our some sadness feeling, unpleasant feeling, when it arise. We have to recognize, we have to apply practice. And when you practice, you have some uh, experience, like your happiness, feelings, you know, you you happy, like become, uh, you can run over this, uh, some unpleasant feeling, your positive feeling run over that, right? When you, you feel that you're happy, then you, you can appreciate your suffering. That's, I think, most important for, you know, we have to create ourselves every single day. The, I have a problem with the sleep, you know, sometimes, not always. So uh, if I don't get sleep and I'm worried, like I have to wake up tomorrow early, I have to go sleep, right? 
and I have to my plane is morning early, so I have to go sleep. So I have worried. I want to put you know go to sleep. <laughs> Not possible to go sleep. They more waking up. <laughs> yeah, if you put more harder and more worried, you more waking up. So your sleep go away. And uh, so that's a suffering become. You know then they really upset, unhappy feeling, no sleeping. You know. Uh, when I have that problems, you know, I don't do always, okay, I'm not a good meditator, so you you don't think I always uh, transform sufferings to uh, the, you know, positive causes of happiness. Sometimes I can do, you know, sometimes as long as I'm mindful, then I use practice, meditate, and the let go of that concept, like expectation go sleep. I want I want to sleep. That desire, expectation, letting go, and meditate, practice. So all these thoughts go, desires go away, feel happy, joy, and become you know uh, relax, and create a very peaceful feeling, and. The become I can appreciate I didn't get sleep because I can use that time is for practice. If I go for sleep, I, I am same as a pig, right? Get in the bed, oh, yeah. It's uh, uh, then until tomorrow morning, wake up, it's uh, no practice, just maybe nightmare or maybe good dreams or something going on. Uh, we don't know what happened, yeah. So apply the meditation, you know, so when I don't get sleep, use practice, feel very happy. And I appreciate I don't get sleep. Same time, naturally go sleep. You know, next day morning, wake up, maybe one hour late, two hour late for sleep, delayed a little bit, but that didn't affect the body. I need to sleep example seven hours, okay? So some people need sex, right? Sex is okay, but still I like seven is like really good. Six is a little bit short for me. Just uh, I sharing you like my experience, right? Individually has a different. And the five is next day I'm tired. When only I sleep five hours, next day I'm really tired. So if I sleep seven hours, it's good. But when, okay, I go just go to bed and the moment sleep, and I can go sleep seven hours, example. And I try to sleep, don't get sleep, and fair post, fair positive, right? Positive, like fair <coughs> kind of not really happy, right? Positive or prostate or something. What do you call like use use something going on your mind, no pleasant way, and distracting or thoughts. Foggy? No, no. So foggy helps sleeping. You know, you you kind of worrying. I can't sleep, right? Not really upset, but the the little bit uh, fair past it or post it. Past it. Uh, it's okay. So the point is, anyway. So yeah, seven hours I have to sleep, right? And I. Uh, going to go to bed, can't sleep, and then I practice and go sleep maybe one hour delayed. So next day I wake up seven hours of sleep, six hours of sleep, which is better. It's, if I practice, meditate, it's six hours sleep, and uh, it's body recovering, it's the same thing, you know. Seven hours sleep is like no much difference. I don't think uh, there much uh, much difference because uh, when I get didn't get sleep one hour, that moments are you know that that's one hour is used for more meditation, right? And feel more create peaceful, relax, and I think that also helps body resting together too. And as long as you meditate, practice, you can go sleep. Let go all the worries. So same, you know, that's the example. 
when we have unpleasant, unhappy, sadness, or whatever difficulty comes, that always happens because we, as long as we have life, you know, life is not always the same, same smoothly, right? Life is the same as the weather, all the time change. So the feeling is always different, changing. And when you have the suffering, negative feeling, you apply practice, meditate, and uh, you, uh, you, you know suffering, you can take the path, your, your practice run over the, your suffering, sadness, negative feeling, you feel happy and joy. So that means you, that, that moment or that day, you take suffering as a path. Then suffering is the causes of happiness become. So we have to create that often and often. You know, uh, sometimes we come to the Dharma center, we gather and chant prayer together, right? That also good, Sangha gathering together, has uh, called power of Sangha. Uh, sangha gathering together is very powerful. And uh, one person uh, chant the prayer and comes to Sangha gathering together in the center, chant the prayer, uh, you know, there, uh, the power is different. So one person we know so how much we have ability. Many group comes together, we know so like the power, how much ability. So one person has all Sangha's energy together. So that's why Sangha get, gather and come together is more powerful. But then generally, you know, uh, we have to always watch our own mind, and uh, recognize our emotion. And when we have emotion, uh, we have to apply we, our practice. So, you know, no emotion run over us all the time. So of course, emotion run over us, uh, maybe 90%, uh, but 10% you can do. Your, your practice can, you know, Dharma practice run over your uh, negative emotions. Even you run 10%, you, 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 you have your own experience, then you understand benefit of Dharma. Then you really know Dharma is medicine, really recognize that Dharma only can help us. So that's why Dharma is called incomparable uh, teacher is Buddha Shakyamuni, incomparable supreme liberation is Dharma called when we offering prayer, talk about uh, offering food to the Buddha Dharma Sangha, right? So, Bomba Lami Sanjay Ramboche is uh, incomparable teacher Buddha. Dremba uh, Lami, no, Jopa Lami Tamchi Ramboche, okay, Jopa, Jopa Lami Tamchi Ramboche is like, True spring protection is Dharma. So the Dharma really protecting us, you know. So that's why when we have a love arise, love is protecting us. Compassion arise for others. Compassion protect us. Bodhicitta arise, then you have spring protection ourselves. Then someone knows like emptiness, you know, meditation, heart sutra. So that's the because supreme protection is dharma. And when we have a suffering, problem, negative emotions, use this practice and create, you know, spiritual in the, your heart. Then this spiritual practice of Dharma is true protection of ourselves. Dharma protecting this life and the future life. Do you understand? Okay, so that's we, we have to know the Dharma is true protection. Uh, <coughs> then right now what we're talking about the suffering here. Suffering is uh, so emotion is arising, that moment we are suffering. Uh, 
So what time is it now? 5.35. What, what time we started? Four, right? Three started, but yeah, teaching four. Still, we have to keep going, I think. Um, how to understand the term? It's okay. about... Zom Sangha, you understand or no? It's about 25 more minutes for our usual schedule oh. for Zoom. Okay. You all okay in the Zoom? Yep. We're great. Good. We're great. <laughs> okay. Great. Wonderful. Transform suffering, okay? <laughs> suffering, we have to take into the path. So that's our job. Uh, so I want to practice the Dharma means we say, I'm going to transform my suffering. Yeah. So that's what we're promising ourselves. Uh, then next one here says, uh, suffering of change to all the uh, changes we finish the suffering of a change. The, the all pervasive suffering of a compound phenomena is a stable level of suffering that provides all of the six realms of samsara. All the ordinary sentient beings are unable to perceive it. I mentioned about already, say, ordinary people, very hard to know this pervasive of suffering because a very subtle level. Uh, uh, noble beings recognize this is, uh, uh, the, you know, subtle level sufferings. And uh, the kids don't know, but we adults understand, right? Example, like in this island going to get hurricane, everyone coming hurricanes like next week. Uh, we all order understand, older people know, so we have to run away, but kids still don't know what is going on. Especially baby, they don't recognize, understand. So, the, no, right now we are in the same as a baby, okay? <laughs> We're not knowing what's going on, what's happening. And, uh, you know, now we are everybody happy here, joy. So we have to, you know, moment to moment happy and joy. But we don't know what happened tomorrow. We don't know what happened next week. What, we don't know uh, next year what's going on, what happened, you know? So that's also another way we have to think. Uh, so you think that what happened, don't know going in the future. So in this, that means we have to enjoy moments. So we don't have actually future. We don't have a past. We always have a moment present. Do you, Recognize that or no? We always have a present, right? So long as you create your present is a joy, then you are always a joy. We always thinking about the future. You always thinking about the future. Features never end. Your mind is always thinking about the past. You know, some people too much worried about past or something happening that people all the time pass, they don't have present. Some people always thinking about the future, they don't have present. So truly, I think we only always have a present. We don't have past, we don't have future. We always in the present. When we was born until now, just always present. So present, you enjoy, you create happiness, then you always happy. So that's why the meditation bring happiness is always present. Because meditation, we don't think about the past, we don't think about the future, right? And meditation means must be present. Uh, so generally, of course, our minds are not, Always we are in the present, but our minds never stay in the present. Always think about the past or future something. So, uh, thinking about the past and the future, then 
that create the worrying. And the worrying is go more strong and then uh, anxiety, I think. And the brain, the more sadness feelings arising. So that's, that's the reason uh, when you more meditate, your mind is more present. Uh, per, minds, we are more present, then we have more happiness. So that's the reason I think, you know, we have good conditions and uh, all the, you know, outer level, many inner level, also many, this Dharma condition we have. So use that and we have to create ourselves happy and joy. So we talk about the suffering, but the, the point is we want happiness. That's why we talk about suffering. If we, we want the suffering, then we talk about happiness, result is suffering. We talk about the suffering, result is happiness. Do you understand or no? No? Because we're sharing here is samsara is suffering. Then we, don't, we want to get rid of suffering and we want to create happiness. Uh, so that's why we're sharing here lots of suffering. Uh, noble beings, those who are at, at one said bodhisattvas, those who have reached exalted levels of spiritual development, feel it is very acutely, but we don't even notice it. it means like this uh, uh, pervasive of suffering, we don't notice. We don't recognize. Only these noble beings recognize. It's often said that for in ordinary beings, this suffering is like holding an eyelash in the palm of the hand. I already shared that. It isn't fit at all. However, for noble beings, it is like having uh, the eyelash stuck directly in the eye. It's impossible to ignore. We just don't even notice the all pervasive suffering, but the noble beings who have developed realization are actually aware of it. We have to recognize our suffering before we can overcome it. So we recognize our suffering, then we can, you know, transform suffering. Uh, you know, we use some practice or we can get rid of suffering before come to suffering. So now it's a, like think about animal run, already take birth animal run. So already they show the animal eye clothes until the life change, cannot do anything. It's already too late. Yeah. So we are right now human being body. We luckily, you know, human being eye clothes shows up. Or us, that's why we are human beings. And then we have ability to delete all the uh, negative eye clothes. Only human being has ability, opportunity to delete the negative eye clothes. So we, before suffering arise, right, suffering come before we can delete the negative suffering. Before comes suffering, we, we have to remove causes of suffering. Yeah, so that's a, that's the a reason also another uh, way uh, right now, you know, people want happiness and uh, something going to happen. When that happening, I'm going to have, have something protection, right? Many people think that's why we buy many insurance. Yeah, teacher. So that's that's also okay. Another level, but this uh, samsara insurance cannot protect the truth, right? Truly, this put uh, this protection is very temporary. Maybe benefit, maybe no benefit, even temporarily. You don't know. It's an uncertainty, I think. So. You chant of only one single Om Mani Padme Hum mantra. That is your already your insurance, another insurance, <laughs> right? So we practice the Dharma. Is we create our 
true protection ensuring uh, when we die <laughs> in the future lives. Yeah. So that's I think we need, right? And you chant mantra, you uh, you meditate, you do some uh, virtuous deeds, remove all the negative eye clouds, and at the same time you create positive eye clouds, and also you create your own good protections, good insurance we create. <laughs> yeah. So Buddha only share good insurance, like uh, I mean the true insurance. <laughs> It's the, that insurance, every, every human being can afford. And the samsara insurance is many people can afford. So I don't know in the Euro countries, uh, I live in the US where insurance is extremely expensive. <laughs> so many people can afford. So without that also very hard to live. And uh, that's a samsara insurance. Dharma insuring or Buddha insuring is everyone can afford. Everyone has opportunity. Yes, then that this insuring is not only protecting in this life, protecting future life, true protections, never going to lost, never going to waste. So that's what we have ability to create. Okay, so we're going to finish the today teaching. Create good insurance, okay, everybody. Today our teaching topic is called insurance and eye cloth teaching. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, Zom Sangha. Thank you, uh, translators. And uh, thank you, Shirab translating. Jenin Sangha, thank you. Your name is? Huh? Marali translating here and the Spanish Sangha here. So now I'm in the Dharma Center, it's in Boca Rinpoche, it's a Dharma Center in Avisa. <laughs> it's a special place, they have a Dharma Center and the stupas here. Uh, so I'm going to do the dedication. So nam de ye dam je ze ba nye to na nye be da na ba ze Emma <laughs> Jay, <laughs> Rimboche, Maji Bananji Jorge, Chibanyam Bame Bayam, Kongi Gondem Beware Show, O Mane Beme, O Mane Beme, O Mane Beme. Thank you, Tashi Dele. Dele, everyone here. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hola. Thank you, gracias, everybody. Tashi de Lea, que en Pola. Muchas gracias. Saludos a todos. Gracias. 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 Gracias.